This is a video tutorial about how to put uh, a logo here in the header on a Dreamweaver um, web page. And the particular setup that I have here on this beautiful Dreamweaver website um, I got from going to File, New, and from either blank page or even blank template. If you're going to do a template, I really advise using. Um, this, the HTML5 two column fix right sidebar and header and footer. You can also do three column fixed, so you have two sidebars, one on the left, one on the right. Um, if you do a template, that helps you to um, make areas where, like the header and the footer, stay constant throughout your website. Um, if you're just wanting to make a, just a quick page, um, just click blank page, HTML5 two column fix right sidebar or if you want three or two sidebars you choose that one um, so I've already got a, a page set up um, and if you got questions about um, how to do the template how to make this edit content section I'll make another quick video for that as well um, but the reason why we're here is to change this um, this logo um, Dreamweaver automatically puts in a logo and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that logo and delete it Make sure my cursor is still blinking in the header, and I can either come here to my file, files panel down here at the bottom and locate my file, um, which I already have set up in a folder called Images inside the root of my website. Um, I can click and drag and drop it right up there, and it's going to prompt me with a window saying I need an alt text, so I'm going to call this iCats logo for my picture. And click OK. There's my picture. If you don't want to, if you're having trouble doing the, the drag and drop, um, I'm going to go ahead and delete it here to show you. There's another way. So with your cursor placed right here, your mouse blinking, you can go up to Insert, Image. I don't like how that's over here. It's it's a little bit out of view, but it says Insert Image Image, and it's going to bring me to the root of my uh, website. I'm going to go into Images. Here's my picture. Click OK. Same thing, alt text. Alt text is um, for screen readers, for people that have uh, uh, vision disabilities. Um, if they can't see the screen, um, vision readers will actually um, read what the image, the alt text here says, so that way uh, those folks uh, can know what that is. And then click OK. And there we go. So now we have our picture in there. But Adobe Dreamweaver um, has this lovely green olive color. Um, and if you're like me, I hate it. I don't like it at all. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hide my, my files panel so that way I can see my styles panel more fully. And so if you don't already have it open, CSS styles panel will help us to configure this. And if you don't have it actually open, if you go to window, you can actually find it listed here and just click it and it will show up here in your sidebar. Um, okay, so the element that we're looking for and how I know it's an element, I'm going to go ahead and click split view and I notice that right here, this is where I'm located. Like if I just click right in here, you can also come down here at the bottom and you'll notice that right now you are in the header tag. If you click that, it'll show you exactly where you are in your HTML. Okay, So the header tag is what I need to configure. And over here in your CSS styles, I see header. And I click header, and I see background color is one of the properties for this element. Um, I can change that. This hex code is the HTML hex for this, for this olive green color. If you just click the, the green tile, now I can come over here and I can select a different code. So let's see, I've got, I'm going to choose black. And there it is. Okay. So you may also be thinking, well, I want to have a little bit more room. I want to have a little bit of padding. Well, we can, we can change the padding around um, the picture and the whole, the whole header bar um, by just coming over here to add property and you can actually click and see all the different properties that you can choose from and one of them that I want to choose is padding 
and when I come in here to padding, I'm going to type in, I want 10 pixel padding. I'm going to do that. And pixels are the little uh, dots that make up each of the, the colors and things in your, in your picture, in case you're curious. So 10 pixels. Um, that pretty much does it. Now if you want to get a little bit more specific you can right click actually I'm going to right click over here so you can see it and come down to edit oh I accidentally clicked on the little whammy sign there to turn it off I'm going to right click edit and then up will come the the CSS rule box and from here you can adjust if you didn't want the right and left to be 10 but you would do want that for the, the top and bottom um, you know you can just leave those alone. just uncheck this box right let's say I want 20 and left 20 and then click apply and you'll notice that up here at the top my logo moved over to the left um, a little bit more than what it was before but the top and bottom stayed the same you won't notice anything on the right because you know we had we don't have anything over here on the right yet so um, and then you of course you can come in here everything you change from this panel affects the header so if you want to add um, some different kind of text you can choose um, a different um, text options that you have here um, you can come in here and change background color or even add a background image that will appear behind this and so like if you wanted to do a background image and have it repeat you can have it repeat X, which means uh, across the horizon, or Y to be vertical, or if you just want it to repeat everywhere. So I think uh, a lot of people have done this before with um, like their background image on their computer. Um, so that's pretty much it.